It was a stupid idea. Mean, just it vexes the soul of man. God's an a-hole. I would get the argument. So you got to be ready to explain it. And that's the only way I've ever been able to explain it, my friends. You know, there's some that would say, well, I'm kind of socialistic and all this is, you know, social justice warrior rhetoric. Listen, not at all. I mean, if you call Section 8 housing, this $50 billion a year we spend to subsidize the housing costs for poor people that can't afford to pay their housing costs across America, has been going on a long time, $50 billion every year. Knowing that all that money goes into fat cat's pockets, it makes the problem worse. Do you think that I'm, I'm pro-welfare? Uh, you think I'm pro-socialism? Uh, okay, I mean, I denounce that. that, that that's reprehensible. It's unconscionable that we tolerate this kind of crap going on. And we can't, the states can't siphon off a share of that money, a percentage, to, to put to buy permanent housing for people. And we got, you understand why they don't want the problems fixed? Do you know how many good, well paying jobs exist within the parameters of these welfare, social welfare programs? Okay. Do you understand? And the same is true for the judicial industrial complex. Well-paying jobs. So if crime ever dried up, do you understand that's, that's bad, right? You would agree for anybody in that industry. They're going to lose relevance. They're going to lose job security. They're going to get laid off. Do you understand the madness that persists in, a, in, in our land in the 21st century when we're supposed to have made a modicum of progress? And we think we're not going to give account for this? I mean, you better have your belief systems intact. And they better hold water. That's your BS. Okay? That's who you are, is what you believe. And you choose that. It's your own choice to not care about others. We're not going to be just judged by the things we do wrong in life, but the things we fail to do that we should have done, which are equally important. Okay, and we're failing as a purportedly civilized society. We're failing and it's sickening and it's sad. And we've got to fix it quick, man. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Because I believe judgment day is nigh. God's ready to put his foot down. How much more can he tolerate? This is crazy. We're all without excuse. Okay, it's only willful stupidity, willful ignorance that we're going to carry on like this. One more day. And you think I'm anti-capitalism? No, there's, but the evidence for capitalism is that your money steadily goes up in worth. Let me explain that. It's due to the law of supply and demand, which is a very intricate part of truism, is the laws of supply and demand. And just like what happened to the VCR from the early 1980s when it cost a thousand bucks of early 80s money to the mid 90s when it was 50 bucks, they were 50 bucks on sale. That's what happens. Why? Because we, as a civilized society, find easier and easier methods. An industrial society, an automated society, a robotic society. We find easier and easier methods. It's our, it's our imagination. It's innovation. It's trying to make our lives better and easier. That's why we do these things. It makes perfect sense to God. God's responsible for every, all our technology, all the infrastructure, everything, because he gave us the brain we used and the invisible imagination. One guy says you're crazy. Another listens, and next thing you know, there it is. And nobody believed. A hundred years ago, they would have, would have, you know, strung you up on at, at the stake and burned you, because they thought witchcraft. Which what are you talking about here? But there it is, and God's responsible for it. He's the one to thank. So do you understand? We start making all gobs of it. So housing should go out have gone down in cost. My parents bought a house in Santa Cruz on the beautiful Monterey Bay, just regular suburban house. Just a regular arm's length transaction, meaning it was nothing forced, no foreclosure or anything. Eight thousand bucks in nineteen sixty five. <coughs> it should be five thousand bucks today if we had made any progress. Do you understand? But minimum wage could also be instead of you know the, uh, around about a dollar an hour back then. Okay, so you might clear a couple hundred bucks a month. Your mortgage would be fifty bucks. You had all, all that extra money. 
to spend on the family, one person working. That was the federal minimum wage. And we should have seen it improve from there. But the federal minimum wage could have prevented the debasement of our money, the watering down, the dilution of our money, okay? Because employers would have complained if the federal labor department came out and said, we're giving these federal minimum wage workers a raise because, you know, here's these people drove up their cost of living unnaturally. It wasn't because of supply and demand issues. It was because of colluding and market manipulation, price rigging, price fixing. That's what happened here. This is what drove up the cost. And so we're going to give the workers a raise. They're just trying to stay even Stephen and maintain the same standard of living. You understand? It's fully justified for the Federal Labor Department to do that. And then the employers would have backed off. Then we would have had the conversation right then and there. Oh, you want to let them manipulate markets and drive up? You understand? Then here's what, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So you see how it would have prevented it, stopped and runaway inflation in its tracks? Right there? You think this is happenstance? You think this is incompetence or stupidity? These are the most educated people in the land running these departments. This is by deliberation. They did this on purpose. They, that's how they normalize slavery. We're in trouble. They've dragged us down this demonic rabbit hole toward hell a long way, and we're in a lot of trouble. But if we had any semblance of true capitalism, your money would be going up in worth. No matter how gradual it was, it'd be increasing in worth. Because that, just like it did with the VCR, do you understand? It would have happened with food and housing and everything else. We've heard of price matching. That's an example of in-your-face price rigging. I'm on to some recent current events real quick here. You know, Biden gave those nice gifts, that big buffalo sculpture and, uh, and the uh, aviator glasses to Putin, sucking up to Putin. You know, if Trump had done that, the media would be in an uproar. He would have been crucified for that. But yet, absolutely nothing from the right or the left. Nothing. And I'm not saying we shouldn't have peace with Russia. I've been saying that all along. In Glendale, California, Southern California, down there in L.A. or somewhere, these cops, like four or five, it was on, like, Inside Edition, it, beating the hell out of this teenage They looked like white cops beating the hell out of a white 17-year-old white kid, teenager. People like that shouldn't be cops. Yeah, recent current events and talking points, I should have said. You know, the body is much like a machine. you got to remember that. It needs a lot of stuff, you know. It needs, uh, it needs amino acids. It needs uh, all kinds of nutrients, uh, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and, of course, plenty of clean water to function properly. And, uh, you know, we need to listen to our body and realize that it is much like a machine. All right, friends, I'm on to a couple of thoughts I've had for the last couple of weeks. The only ego we have a right to possess is the knowledge that we are individually loved by our owner. That is to say, the almighty creator God, vastly more than anything else on earth. More aptly, this, quote, ego is really a divinely endowed eternal form of self-esteem, knowing we humans are literally God's children. God's offspring. Some say the female is less powerful. That's ridiculous. The female can make or break a man. It happens all the time throughout time. Fundamentally, we would all serve ourselves well in understanding that, quote, capitalism should not be a subjective term, but indeed it is Example. Here's an example. Cheaters in a game. Ergo, this particular game, being of such a relevant one to everyone, must be played fairly to be called, quote, capitalism. What's the point in playing a rigged game? No one in their right mind would want to do that. If evil men cannot be brought to heel by righteous men in a nonviolent manner, they will continue to degrade in our society. Less and less justice for the financially disenfranchised. One erring human being cannot punish another erring human being and expect positive results. 
Those who have shown mercy will be shown mercy. Friends, i got to leave it there. Have a great day. Have a great eternity. Be a nice human being. Enjoy your life. Treat others the way you want to be treated and love God above all else. And it'll go well for you. It's the maximum amount of happiness we can find.